Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about refurbished tech, which isn't something that you really see talked about very often on YouTube. There's often more of a focus on sort of the latest and newest products, but I think that buying a refurb piece is a great way of making a saving when you're buying, and there's only really a couple of minor drawbacks. And I think that some people may not even know that companies are selling refurbed versions of their products at a discount, but a lot of the time these products are on sort of like a separate storefront on their website, so they're not always that easy to find. Lots of companies have these refurb stores, but in this video I'm going to be focusing specifically on Apple certified refurbs. I'll be going over what the Apple refurb process means and the sort of savings you can make, and I'll also share with you a really cool free website that you can use to track the refurb store and get a notification whenever a refurb product becomes available that you're looking for so that you can buy it and save yourself some money. I just picked up a refurbed M1 Mac Mini, so let's take a look and see what you get. The first thing you'll notice is the box. It's different to the standard product boxes from Apple. Refurbs get repackaged in just a plain white box. There's no product image on the front, just the product name and the Apple certified refurbished text at the bottom. This particular unit has one terabyte of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. There's no way to custom order these though, like when you're buying new. The refurb stock available is just what it is. You might have to wait a little bit if you're looking for a specific configuration, but I do have a tip for setting up stock alerts, which I'll show you later on in the video. Opening up the box, we've got the Mac Mini sitting on top, along with a little cardboard wallet with some documentation, and of course the power lead. You do actually get an Apple sticker too, which I wasn't expecting, along with the usual quick start guide and some warranty information. You get the same one year warranty coverage like you would when buying a new product. And refurbs are also covered by Apple's 14 day return policy if you need it. And you can purchase AppleCare to extend your warranty. Unwrapping the Mini, there are no marks, scuffs or dents of any kind on the body. Apple says that their certified refurbs are pre-owned products that all go through a very stringent refurbished process before being put up for sale again. And that while only some units are returned for technical issues, Every unit gets evaluated to make sure that it meets Apple's quality standards. So this means that every product in Apple's refurb store undergoes full functionality testing and any defective modules identified in the testing are replaced. iOS devices will come with a new battery and outer shell. They're all repackaged in special packaging as we've seen, including all the appropriate manuals and cables that all originally shipped with the product. The device will include the operating system that originally shipped with the unit, or in some cases a newer version, and it will go through a final quality assurance inspection before being added back to the refurbished sellable stock. This particular Mac Mini config would usually cost £1,299, but for the exact same model from the refurb store, it costs £1,099, which is a saving of £200, or about 15%. The savings are about the same internationally, but they will vary from product to product. Max range from about 15 to 20 percent, and generally the older the machine is, the lower the price will be, and occasionally prices can drop as much as 30 percent. Usually Apple will include the discount amount, but for some older devices you might need to manually compare the prices to know the exact saving. The prices will also take into account any included hardware upgrades on built-to-order Macs that have been refurbed. For newer iPhones and iPads, most discounts range from 15 to 18 percent off. But on some higher end older models, it can be around a 35% saving. New Apple Watches range from 14 to 17%, with Series 4s around 27% off, and some Series 3 models over 40% off. So, the product goes through functionality testing, any faulty parts get replaced, the device gets cleaned and inspected, it gets repackaged with any manuals and cables it would normally ship with, and you get a discounted price, so you're basically getting a like new product at a discount, so what's the catch? Firstly, it can take a while for some of the newly released products to even appear on the refurb store. For example, at the time of this video, you can get refurbs of the 13-inch M1 MacBook and MacBook Air, which were both released at the end of 2020, but not the new M1 iMac, which just came out in May. And the times can vary, I've not seen any iPhone 12s on the refurb store just yet, which were also released at the end of last year. So if you want the latest machines, you might have to wait a few moments before Apple starts putting them out as refurbs. Secondly, as I mentioned, you can't custom order them, or get them engraved for that matter, so if you are looking for a specific configuration, you are just going to have to wait for it to appear. And lastly, there's availability. You might see a product on the store one day, and then 
the next day it might be gone and it might not be back on the store for another few days. So you do need to be quick when buying when you see what you want and check the store frequently for when Apple restocks it. But that's where the Apple Refurb Tracker website comes in really handy as it basically watches the store for you. It's free to use, you just tell it what you're looking for and it will notify you when the stock becomes available. So for example, I selected the Mac Mini. I knew I wanted an M1 model, not an Intel one. So I added M1 to the keywords and I wanted one with 16 gigs of RAM. So I also put in 16 gigabytes. The keywords filter also works with product numbers if you want to be really specific. And you can exclude devices by using a keyword with a minus in front of it. You can then check the matching products based on your selection and make sure that it's correct. And as you see here, these are all M1 Mac minis with 16 gigs of RAM. Then you can just sign up for an email notification or use the RSS link. And when your selection becomes available, you'll be one of the first to know. So you don't have to check the store manually by yourself, which is super helpful. Just remember to be quick when buying when it's available so you don't miss out. This video isn't sponsored or anything by them. I'm not being paid to promote the website. It's just something that I found when I was looking to get the Refurb Mac Mini and I thought it would be worth sharing with you. So here it is. It's worth mentioning that there will be other third party companies out there that are refurbing Apple products, but their refurb process might not be as rigorous as Apple's. They might not use genuine replacement parts or give you things like a one year warranty or a return period, but you might be able to make an even bigger saving. So just check with the company first so that you know exactly what you're getting when you buy. So if you're looking to make a saving on your next tech purchase, definitely consider taking a look at some refurbished products. Apple certified refurbs have a really good reputation. You're basically getting a like new product at a discount with a one year warranty and 14 days to return it if you need to. I'll leave some links below for the Apple refurb store and the tracker website. So do check them out if you're interested. If you found this video useful, then give it a thumbs up and let me know. If you've got any questions, then drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer. And if you'd like to see more tech content from me, then do consider subscribing because that would just help me out massively. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.